Bible verse. Hebrew 4.16 Therefore let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. First thoughts. What wonderful reassurance we have in Christ Jesus our Lord, for he is our great high priest and heavenly mediator. He is both the omnipotent God and our merciful Savior. He is omniscient, but he is also filled with compassion and great goodness. He is both the eternal Son of God who created the universe, but he is also the gracious Son of Man who died and rose again so that through faith in him we can come to the throne of grace. This is a verse that rejoices our hearts, for this throne of grace is the eternal seat of the Sovereign Lord of heaven and earth, whose mercy seat has covered our sins forever. It is by His grace that the veil of the temple that separates man from God, is torn in two from top to bottom, providing access into the presence of our Heavenly Father. Through Christ, we have received the gracious invitation to come boldly to God's throne of grace, in time of need. Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven and we are invited to come before him with boldness, therefore let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace. We are not to cower anxiously before his magnificent presence. Rather, we are encouraged to come to him and to keep on coming to his throne, without fear or doubt. We are to come to him freely, constantly, ceaselessly, and persistently. He is not a distant God before whom we are to shrink or grovel. He justly deserves our reverence, praise, and thanksgiving, because he is our glorious God and everlasting creator. There is no creature in heaven above or the earth beneath that is hidden from his penetrating gaze. In his omniscient wisdom, he knows all things. He reads the thoughts of our heart. He examines the motives of our mind. All is laid bare to his pure eyes and holy presence. In Christ, we have been invited to enter confidently into the throne room of heaven and boldly approach God's throne, that we may obtain mercy, and find the grace we need to help in time of need. But let us never allow familiarity with the gospel of God to diminish our understanding of the tremendous privilege that streams, like a flood, to each of his children. This unfathomable privilege is awarded to all who have been saved by the blood of the Lamb, and none are excluded. It is not because of our own merit or worthiness that this gracious invitation has been extended to us. This God of grace and love is also a God of justice and righteousness. He is the God whose plan of redemption dictated that all sin must be punished and by his grace, Jesus took upon himself the sin of the world, so that we could be saved by grace. Only through faith in Christ have we been justified, forgiven of sin, and covered in Christ's perfect righteousness. It is only because of the merit, worthiness, excellence, and virtue of Christ's sacrificial offering of himself upon the cross on our behalf that we have this amazing entitlement. Our confidence is not in ourselves. Our confidence is founded on what Christ has already done on our account. Our assurance rests on his victory cry, it is finished, for we are accepted by God, in the beloved, through time and into eternity, accepted through the merit of God's only begotten Son. We are not directed to enter in the throne room of heaven in apprehensive timidity, but to approach his universal seat of divine power and majestic glory with great boldness and confident assurance of a child approaching his beloved father, knowing that the sacrificed Lamb of God, offered by the High Priest of God for our sin, is sufficient. In this verse we have a peep into a heavenly vision of unapproachable deity, enthroned on his seat of mercy and grace, granting peace, pardon, forgiveness, and confident access to all who believe on his name.
By grace through faith in his death, burial, and resurrection Christ, the Lamb of God and great, high priest of heaven, has flung wide the golden door into the holiest of all, to all who believe on his name. Devotional Prayer Thank you, Father, for the grace and mercy that streams from your throne of grace to me through Jesus Christ, my great high priest and heavenly Savior. I praise and thank you for the goodness and grace you have extended to me. Were I to spend the rest of my days in grateful thanks and reverential praise, I could not express my love for you. Thank you, in Christ's name I pray, Amen.